Hey pups, Arpy here, and today's Pokemon video is a list of my top 10 least favorite Pokemon characters. Now the only rules I have for this list are the following. They must be Pokemon related, they could be major or minor characters in the show or anime, and I'm only targeting the anime and video games only for this list. I'm so sorry manga fans. And I'd be kind of cheating on this list a little bit later on because one of them well, a dishonorable mention is actually a Pokemon that didn't quite make it to the least favorite Pokemon list, so we'll get to that later. But for now, I want you guys to start a conversation in the comments about your least favorite Pokemon character, and let's get this list started. Taking a number 10 spot is Giovanni. We're starting off this list with an old school Pokemon character. Even though Giovanni is a rather reoccurring character to the anime in multiple regions of the Pokemon world, be it from the Kanto region, to Johto, Unova, etc. Even though he's pretty low on this list, he's still a bad man. He is not a very nice dude. He uses Pokemon as weapons and tools for fighting, forcing his team of scientists to create a powerful Pokemon for his own purposes, aka Mewtwo has an entire corporation and business related to evil, and almost killed Mewtwo and nearly destroyed a home for Pokemon only, and Mewtwo returns. He's not a very nice man, people. This guy is a very bad dude. But trust me, it gets worse as we go down the line. At number nine, we have Gary Oak, yet another classic Pokemon character, and Ash's rival. I've never really liked Gary in season one, he may not have done things as bad as Giovanni and the others on this list, but it's his ego that really got me, and how much of a narc he makes himself out to be in the show. And if anyone knows me, you would know that I despise narcissistic people for this strong reason. Gary, to me, in my personal opinion, is one of those people. Season 1, Gary Oak, only people. I am not going anything beyond that. At number 8, we have Ursula. You know a character from Pokemon is hated when they're named after a actually rather cool Disney villain, and is a drama queen and a sore loser. That is a very bad combination of the two, trust me. And you know, she actually reminds me of one or two girls I knew from junior high and high school. Snotty, annoying, jerks just because, etc. Plus, she has no real personality other than being a bully and a rival to Dawn. It was just a contest, Ursula! Get over it and let it go like Frozen! Okay, I think that joke is dead by now, so let's just move on. For number 7, we have Harley. Part of me actually wants to laugh at some of his comedic antics, but another part of me still doesn't like him. He holds a grudge against me for thinking Cacturn scary and how she knew nothing about Cacturn, and saying his cookies aren't half bad, quote unquote. Plus, this guy actually has a worse backstory than Brawly from Dragon Ball Z. I don't even watch Dragon Ball Z. He also targets poor Mei and tries to humiliate her and bully her any chance he gets. Harley equals Brighty Manchild. Or the Chris Chan of Pokemon. You know what? Actually, that's going a little too far in that last part. He's just a bratty man child who apparently holds a very strong, unnecessary grudge against me. But at least he's not the worst of the worst. Sort of. Maybe. I don't know. What do you think? Comment down below. Just. Comment! At number six, we have Princess Allie. And keeping with the Stunny Brat theme, when I watched the episode, I don't remember what number or what name, please comment down below if you know the name or the number of the episode, because I legit do not know. She reminded me so much of Angelica from the Rugrats and Princess Morbugs from the Powerpuff Girls. She even wanted Ash's Pikachu to herself because she's a fluffing princess. I know what you're going to ask, so I'll ask it for you. Where are her parents? Why isn't she disciplined for the bratty stuff she does? She doesn't get any discipline because she's a fucking princess. That is legit no excuse, people. Legit no excuse. 
If that were me, I'd punish the heck out of her. And before anyone takes that way out of context, no abuse, nothing physical or emotional or mental or anything beyond that. Just normal parental punishments like taking away her stuff, her being grounded for maybe a month or so, maybe even longer than that. Pretty much it. That's pretty much it. And slightly surprisingly, at number five we have Ash. I honestly feel indifferent about Ash, but the fact that he's forever ten years old, always has one Pikachu throughout Pokemon, from Kanto all the way to Alola, and has hardly any personality changes. Yeah, that's about all I can say about Ash. That is kind of it. That's really just it. Again, I feel indifferent about Ash. That's literally the three things I have to hate on him. I mean, yeah, Pikachu's his main Pokemon and his buddy and his pal, but yeah, I got nothing. At number four, we have Team Rocket. I'm talking about all of Team Rocket here. The grunts of Pokemon Origins and in the games are annoying and evil and killed the Mother Marowak without remorse, guilt, or regret. Seriously, how evil are these people? Jesse James and Meowth, however, I can feel some sympathy for due to their sad backstories, but they kind of lost the credibility as villains either after Thursogens or after Kanto, but enough said. Cassidy Butch and even Professor Namba are decent in themselves, but after a while, they only made two comebacks in Hoenn and Sinnoh. That's... that's it. We never really saw them again. Regardless, Team Rocket is bad. Bad as an evil. So... Enough said. At number three, we have Damien. If any of you classic Pokemon fans watch the episode Charmander the Stray Pokemon, you probably already know how I feel about this guy. If you haven't watched the episode, I highly recommend it. But back on topic, Damien's a minor character, but as soon as he's on screen, he's easily unlikable. When he brags about his Pokemon collection, to abandoning his poor Charmander. After Rock scolds him and Team Rocket's defeated, the Mother Fluffer comes back and shows his true colors to Charmander and gets its butt burned, literally. Serves you right, Damien. At number two, we have Kodai. I was actually tempted to put him in number one, but I think you'll see why I changed my mind on that in a few. From wanting power and not caring who or what he hurts, to almost killing a Pokemon he used as a tool and manipulated everyone. This guy is the Donald Trump of Pokemon. And you know, I think they're actually more similar than you think. And I know I said no manga characters for this list, but I am going to insert a quick little manga tip right here. So, spoils alert if you haven't read the manga version of Zorok Master of Illusions, at least Kodai dies in the manga, and he gets his own taste of karma in the movie. His manga ending's better. He dies. Before we get to number one, a quick dishonorable mention is Gotharita. I actually have a love-hate relationship with it, but the reason why it's a dishonorable mention on this list is because it looks like Angelica and Princess Morbucks if Rugrats and or the Powerpuff Girls turn into Pokemon. See the resemblance? You see it? Now you shall never see Gotharita the same way ever again. And finally, at number one, last but least, is Paul from the Sinnoh region. Oh my god, why does he exist? He's abusive to Charmander, forces it to remember its Zangu's trauma, and calls it useless and worthless, and straight up abandons it. That's not even the worst of it. 
He insults Mei Lin, abandons Pokemon that aren't good enough, quote unquote, and thinks he's better than everyone. Why do you exist? Why can't you be more like your older brother? And speaking of his brother, <laughs> watch someone make shit part of me with his brother. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if people shipped him with Ursula. I am thankful we never see him again after the Sinnoh episodes. Thank Arceus for that. And that's all I can take for now. Let me know if I should make a part two because there are actually some characters that I did miss in all the series of Pokemon. And then they include manga in part two, so you never know. Sadly, no fan art for this video. If you want your fan art featured, my social media is in the description, so give me a follow and tag me so I can see the fan art. I'll see you later, pups. This is our peer reminding you to stay awesome, stay strong, and stay beautiful.